What's up, you freaking losers? Freaking nerd, vagabond, virgin scum. It's Opex. What's up, guys? Alright, so I got a 4 vs 4 RT. What's new there? Probably nothing. And it looks like I gotta find me as spawning as the red uh, orc. <laughs> Here on Murgle Oasis, which is a pretty sweet map. It's Sunken Ruins type uh, tile set. And uh, we'll see what's going to happen here. Because I really don't remember because I'm so far behind on my casts. I'm like literally like a month behind. Um, I pushed things forward that I liked, like uh, the 2 vs 2 uh, RTs. Random teams. I push those ahead, um, and I haven't done too many four vs four RTs lately. I started off my channel with doing four vs four RTs and one vs ones, and now I'm trying to gear it more into two vs twos and uh, more professional one vs ones or better one vs ones that I, you know, witnessed or seen or had access to. So that's what this is going to be. I have tons of humans on my side, so I have one, two, three humans, and me as the orc. Um, Gonna start off with that heavy duty hack and slash blade master. Allies are gonna be doing the Mountain King thing, that's gonna be doing the Archmage thing, and uh, the confusing thing. The, the I'm a loser thing. Okay, so, uh, looks like quick tech for blue. I don't know what's going on with Blue. I hope he's trying to do something. He's doing two barracks. No altar. <gasps> and, uh, yeah. I gotta basically make up for a noob ally. And then I have another ally that's teching. No barracks whatsoever. And then we have an AFK guy here. Who... Oh, no. Not too AFK. But just a little bit AFK. Where his unit is following his mountain king. All right. Work complete. So, as you can see, everything's working against me at this point. Um, he has two idle peasants. Oh, getting a blacksmith. So it looks like dual barracks of riflemen, and it looks like a second lumber mill. Guys, this is why I really don't like playing 4 vs 4 RT. Um, because that's what I really have to, to deal with here. I mean... Alright, so anyways, I'm going to not really pay attention to Noob. So I have a Voodoo Lounge being constructed, waiting for my Blade Master to do blah blah blah, heal up and get some cells, and then go off and do another Creep Camp. I'm probably noticing that my allies are quite late in tech, are in uh, building, and building placements all wrong. Um, Clearly, you can just walk around all of these buildings and still easily get all that shit. Um, Pink's trying to do some sort of harass with a couple water elementals against the Tinker, and it looks like Rifleman as well from Orange. So focusing that Tinker, knowing that that Tinker really can't do much, uh, in the middle is a fountain of mana, it's not a fountain of health. So if he gets rid of that Tinker out of the equation, he should be able to ransack his base pretty epically. Um, if epically is not a word, I just made it a word, so don't tell me that that's not a word, because I made it one. <clears throat> so Tinker, quite low, uh, actually denied his own water elemental. That was actually quite surprising from a teching, uh, ally. That was actually quite surprising. Uh, late on those guard towers, so those probably aren't going to be up, definitely not going to be up in time by the time they reach the base, unless he backs off. Um, decent... Placement on towers, literally have to go all the way over here just to do minimal damage. And it looks like while blue's being a moron and pink is being a distraction and purple is doing nothing, um, it looks like I'm going to creep and get strong. I already have about level two and a half. Blade Master going to be a little over two and a half by the end of this creep camp. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep 
keep going away. Building up an We're early war mill. It's a little early. I'm not sure if I'm trying to add just a tower or something. Uh, just to be on the safe side. Uh, purple should be getting to level 2 off this creep can. But he doesn't look like he's a very good player, that's for sure. Not using militia. Just adding more towers. What's up with motherfuckers and towers? Or idle peasants. Excuse my French. Paladin. I like to see paladin riflemen. I do that sometimes on my 2 vs 2. Sometimes even 4 vs 4. Sometimes even 3 vs 3. No. Archmage is too powerful. Especially for 3 vs 3 and 4 vs 4. And 1 vs 1, 2 vs 2. It doesn't matter. Anyways, enough with those shenanigans. Playmaster level 3. Got a nice uh, full potion of invulnerability. I have some replenishment, another healing salve. And I got the one of illusion, which I'm either going to use the scout. I'm just going to sell. Uh, I might use during battle. Any of those scenarios could work. Um, Pink's trying to get Purple to start doing things. He's kind of like edging Purple to be like, Hey, uh, I'm going to shove these creeps back and uh, you're going to help me take them down. Get your Mountain King some experience. Very late, Rifleman. I don't know what's going on with my allies, to be completely honest. Quick Tech to Castle. I wonder what the hell this is all about. For... I'm not even going to ask the question. Alright. So, I'm switching the the headhunters at this point so that was my tech change that was my early war mill uh getting some upgrades like crazy um just gonna keep getting hh control headhunters um headhunters very good um against air against a lot of things just adding a lot of dps uh, as you can see that's 24 to 32 damage every attack if you add Add that up when you get the Berserker upgrade in your attack speed. If I add a Torn Chieftain into the mix with his aura, those that DPS is just going to overwhelm. Um, especially with that Blade Master. Come on now. That Blade Master is just a boom. Whatever it right clicks, it's going down. And being the only Orc player, i got to add some sort of casters or something like that in the mix, right? Nope. But I am going to grab up that Torn Chieftain. Not a bad decision. Um, but it looks like everyone... Ooh, nice. Nice. Killed, killed that illusion pretty good. I like it. Killed that illusion. Stop that scout. Waste up all your mana on storm bolts just to take down that illusion. Oh, I love my allies. Love them. Alright. Coming back around to things that are going on. Just a quick upgrade to Fortress. Got a couple watchtowers. Just to make sure, and it looks like I'm going to grab another one. Uh, maybe I'm doing that because I noticed that all my allies have towers. And if all my allies have towers, that means they're going to skip bases just to hit me without towers. So I think that's what I, uh, I'm thinking. Not quite sure what I'm thinking, to be completely honest. Uh, starting off with that uh, aura. Am I grabbing something out of the mercenary camp? Am I waiting for 500 gold? Because I know there's a... Oh, I am. So I wanted that Deep Seer, which, let me remember, I think he gets Entangle. Entangle? Is it? I don't remember what he gets. I think the, this guy gets Entangle. And actually not bad damage either. But if I just paid 500 gold for that shit, you know, better have Entangle or something. Tangle something so my, I'd right click a Blade Master and, you know, everything goes well. So yeah, it's the one with Entangle and the, the minions. Troll Headhunters doing what they're doing. Uh, not going to get level 4, not going to get level 2 on the scab. Actually, I might get level 2 if I back off my Blade Master. And I'm not going to do that. Very close. And I actually got level 4. Pendant of Energy, a great item on that Torn Chieftain. Or even if I... Trade up a Shadow Hunter third. Our town is being attacked. Um, it was a very dumb decision by Blue, but we already knew that he was new. Um, 
going to lose all his units. going to lose his expansion, obviously. Um, Purple, the second noob on the team, is just going to do some dumb shit. Leading the enemy right in. Cancelled the expansion. Very weak units. Uh, Blue's losing everything. Purple's losing everything. What the fuck is going on? So now I'm going to be in the equation. I finally just made it in. Torn Chieftain, level 2. Uh, probably going to get a Stomp or a Shockwave off if I'm lucky. Uh, Entangle going down. Like I said, this unit to Entangle. Very powerful. Um, Pink and me know what we're doing, but we have two moron human allies that do not have a clue what they're doing. Um, we can continue to, to bolt and ensnare these units. Uh, stun if my torn chieftain has it. Um, but pretty much morons just... <laughs> we obviously have two moron allies. Uh, gonna get a clean kill and for perhaps the rest of this creep camp. And it looks like green's still fighting it. So we could try to do some damage on green. Uh, not gonna happen. So I am getting the Shadow Hunter third. So it's pretty much, you know, pink and red versus four. Still trying with these uh, troll berserkers, and okay, my shit's lagging in the storm right now. I can barely even move my mouse, it's lagging so much. Um, almost 40 damage on my troll berserkers, so just very powerful units. Very low HP, low armor, uh, but never. You know, just fast attack speed, which is very fast, I believe. I don't know, speed is slow. Slow speed. But once you go that Berserker upgrade and with that TC, it should be increasing the speed. So yeah, it's already a little fast. Mm. Alright, coming over here, and it looks like uh, Blue finally got a couple units. Pink finally found Teal, and uh, it looks like we're going to come in here and try to take some of those fiends down, because I'm noticing my allies going to air. We don't want any fiends in play. Uh, Death Knight losing three fiends at least, altogether, and uh, forced a TP. I think the second one he had to use. So we're doing pretty good in terms of uh, map control. Me and Pink at least. A uh, couple griffs from purple, you know. Uh, but blue really isn't doing much. You saw what he was doing before. He lost his expansion. He lost all his units. Um, just terrible play. And then purple leading the enemy right to what was going on just to make it that much worse. You know, typical 4 vs 4 RT allies. But what do you expect? Nice amount of casters and shit from uh, pink. Perhaps the player of game pink. So we're going to get all our mana up um, and start heading off and finding something to do. Alright, so I'm pinging them all to come Research toward me. Complete. And it looks like pink definitely knows what's up. Purple's, you know, not too far behind. And then blue just... I don't know. I don't know about blue, guys. <laughs> Alright, so here there is going to be an engagement. Pink needs to get in better positioning here. Um, and blue and purple need to help, that's for sure. We can't fight this without any help. Uh, pink realizes that they're not helping. Now purple's finally in. Uh, blue's still not helping. Uh, Death Knight gonna be taken down. Death Knight goes down. So, Teal having a terrible problem. Uh, blue decided to TP out of this. If I'm not so lagged, I can go back and forth. And for good measure, he TP'd out, or TP'd here to save his base. And is he going to get it down? It looks like he is going to take down that, that main. Yep, the main goes down. Uh, but it looks like me and uh, Pink ended up taking him down with the help of Purple. So us three were able to take him down rather easily. Uh, inner fire on units. Um, just a very powerful compila uh, compilation, compilation right now. 
just constantly just putting my berserkers in a berserker uh, mode and just taking down units after units. Uh, if Blue's base goes down, good riddance. To be completely honest, you didn't know what you were doing. Uh, but then again, I mean, look, he's just going to lose his hero for no reason. Just lost his hero for no reason. Could have focused that mortar long ago and just backed out, but nope. Couldn't do it. Alright, but anyways, we'll base trade that all day because Blue sucked. So it looks like yellow, no, Oxblood, I don't know who Oxblood was, and Smurfbo, but they're finally leaving. They realize that they're outmasked. Yep, and they all are leaving. Even Pink left. He was like, you know what, we won. You know, this isn't my main account, I don't care about numbers. I'm out too. <clears throat> Did my part. And Pink left when he just finished off the base. Tinker's still going. Um, but Oxblood is done. I mean, he's out of the game. Our ally needs our help. Yeah, it's a lot of griffins. Now, when I play as human, you will see me grow griffins less than once a year. And I am dead ass. Unless it's one versus one and I'm playing like undead or something. I never go griffins. Uh, and especially four versus four. I think that they're probably one of the easiest units to counter. I mean, I really don't like going air. I don't know if you pay attention to my videos, and if you do, if you're a subscriber and you watch more than one video a month, you know that I don't really like air, and I don't play with air, unless I play with destroyers, or if I'm going to quick frostworm uh, tactic. <coughs> and it looks like I'm moroned out and just took my heroes, two of my heroes, and left the rest of my units here. Right. But it's alright. A Blade Master can easily deal with all of this on his own, especially level 5. Uh, TC, just to help out level 4, he ain't gonna get focused on either. Alright, so it looks like they all left. We are victorious. And, um, clearly that went out in our favor, even though clearly Moron here. Um, the Teal, Undead, always spamming those uh, teleportations kind of moronic uh, but it's alright it's not it doesn't really show who you are as a player it's more along the lines of we caught you off guard a few times and you had to TP out and OPEX decent heroes eh, it's not much more to say that's a typical RT game on East server hope you enjoyed I definitely have more content coming to you probably immediately have a good one. Nerds.